then you come to these meets like junior nationals and people are so eager to swim and so eager to swim fast and like like I said earlier it's it's really refreshing to see this in person and I'm really glad I came here tonight this was awesome <laughs> all right so next up is the men's foreign IM e final and lane number one we got Steven Sheck from Jersey Wahoos and two Colton Williamson Dynamo Swim Club three Lane Stone nation's capital four Jackson Higgins Dayton Raiders five Michael, Michael Gomez Nova Virginia six Derek Cox Dynamo Swim Club seven Mason Revis Mandel Jewish Community Center and in eight Jackson Tongues Southern Waters you know it's so interesting when I when you see the women swim the foreign I am and then the men it looks so different it looks like the men are just attacking it so much harder uh -huh. it's not it's not a it's not necessarily a finesse there's still so much power I mean of course you see people like Ryan Lofty Michael Phelps those guys they still look make it look so easy but in general I mean look at these butterflies I mean they look like they're sprinting almost fly, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's just so interesting to see how the mindset of a, of a 400 IM is different among women and men I mean you train with guys who train with a 400 IM yeah. do you do you see that they they approach their 400 IMs differently than you would I think so and I think that's one of the reasons why I've been able to maintain a good time in the 400 IM because I'm constantly training people with people that aren't afraid to hold back and you know sometimes girls I myself included I'm like hold back a little bit you don't want to die but guys especially they don't care they're gonna go for it because they want to win and you know they all have egos so um it's it's nice to be able to train with something like that because it pushes me and it keeps me honest and speaking of training i know early, uh, earlier this year you had a groin pull yeah. and kept you out of the swimming breaststroke for a while how's all that doing it's getting a lot better i'm very impatient which is the hardest part about the healing process but um i swam breaststroke last week and it's fine it's fine this week so Hopefully it'll it's all passed and I'm and I'm gonna be back. But yeah, we're good. Yeah, you got four months to worlds. I understand your impatience. Yeah, I know. Well, it's enough time, but it's still everything creeps up on you. Like it's already 2015, and you know people are looking at their trials cuts, and so many people are making it here. It's it's crazy to think in just like what 15 months we're gonna be at Olympic trials. Like that's it's really soon. It's really soon. Yeah, in the scheme of things, I mean, in 2012, you were thinking 2016 is so far away, and now here it is. Yeah. I mean, it's as as a post grad athlete, though, that's gotta that's gotta get you excited that it gets closer and closer because when you're a post grad, you don't have things like NCAA's to kind of break up the year. You you pretty much are looking for that one meet every summer. So yeah. for you to know that now you're you're 15 months away. It's got to, you're starting to get the juices flowing a little bit. Things are getting a little more exciting now. Yes. Oh, absolutely. It's like a marathon being a post-grad athlete. Because like you said, there's one meet a year that you focus on. So those other 12 months, you're just training. And, uh, you know, it's hard, but I'm loving it. I'm living the dream. I got to do what I love and get paid to do it. So it's it's really been a good ride. It's been great having you, Elizabeth. Stick around for the end of this this E final here. Look at this Dynamo swimming. Colin Williamson doing very well. Colton Williamson doing very well in breaststroke. He was leading after backstroke. It's very rare to see a, a person do well in backstroke and breaststroke. Um, obviously, he trades very well. And I was saying earlier, Dynamo Swim Club has some great foreign diameters. They have Gunnar Bentz, the Lidlin triplets. I mean, they've been doing very well in the foreign diameters. You know, those guys are Georgia now, but I'm sure he's reaping the benefits of having trained with them. Oh, for sure. Training partners, especially in high school and club swimming, are honestly what get you through it and what make you better. I I wouldn't have been the swimmer I was in high school without my training partners, and clearly at Dynamo, they're not lacking that at all. So. Well, at Bluefish, I know the yards that you guys yeah. cranked out with Chuck. If you didn't have anybody doing it with you, I think you'd probably go insane. Oh, yeah. Oh, insane for sure. And I'm so thankful for everybody that was like, insane enough to do it with me all right we're going into the final 50 of freestyle here colton williamson built up about 10 meter lead here colton was 358 30 this morning in the 400 im short course yard so it looks like he's really cranking it now he's actually on pace to get his olympic trials cut which is 427 49 it'd be great to see that in the e-final and I'm sure if he gets it, he's going to be pumped to be able to do that. He's on pace. He's going to be close. Oh, just a little bit off. Less than a second, but really good swim there. 428. Ah, he looked a little, yeah, little he sad knew. he didn't get it. He knew what he was going for, but still a very valiant effort to be able to do that. And again, they haven't been doing the long course training. So they still 
still got 15 months. And, and, and even just three months for the long course season. I'm sure it, this summer juniors he's going to get it. So, you know, I've seen a lot of these kids, they, they don't get their chaws cut now, and they're really upset about it. But, you know, as I keep saying, I mean, it's not the end of the world. This is not June 2016. I mean, you got so much work to do. You got so much time to do that work, and I'm sure these guys are going to do it. And, you know, like you said, it's right around the corner. It's, it's in the blink of an eye, but, yeah, it's in the end, it's really a lot of time to get yeah, things done. Yeah, exactly. You see both sides of it. And even, the, like, these kids, especially at Junior Nationals, like, yes, so disappointing they didn't make it at this meet, but they're still at that stage in their career where they can drop time, you know, every single meet, hopefully. Um, and so, you know, the best is yet to come for all these kids. Yeah, if it, it would be different if maybe they were seniors in college and, and looking to say, if I don't get a certain time, then I'm going to retire from the sport. I mean, yeah. they're high